So good, that is. Uh, a check in on the art stuff. I guess it's kind of the best way to start off. I've had a bunch of commissions brought to me recently. I'm excited about those. Those are really great. Uh, I didn't expect to have such a a uh, fortunate fall spring. Spring. Uh, drink some water, by the way. But I did. I feel very lucky on that aspect that my spring has had so many people come out and they want me to do commissions and do all these things and I'm, I'm excited to do them and I'm going to do them but I'm a little nervous because I deal with a lot of kind of what's the word I deal with a lot of kind of things where like my art is very honest about how I am as a person and sometimes I don't feel very happy. I feel unloved. I feel uh, left behind. I feel silly or stupid or any of those things. And I'm worried that will kind of bleed into the work that I'm making, which is crazy because it shouldn't be. Um, it shouldn't happen that way. I should be able to just feel confident. These people come to me and they ask for all these great things and me to do all this good stuff. And I, I feel like I could really honestly like shine in this situation and I feel like in a lot of ways I am but there is inevitably a large part of me that is very afraid of just being crap I guess <laughs> failing or or flaking or anything of that nature so I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to get past that I want to be better than I was 20 years ago when I would say I was going to do something and I'd work towards it and I'd want to kind of move forward and everything would be this kind of this whirlwind of emotion where I was overly intense about everything and so I wanted to be reflective of my passion but my passion was just so chaotic I feel like at 40 now I've got a better grip and a better grip and like a better focus on how I work. Like I write things out and I do things and I, I make it a point to stay on task and I write down all my ideas and I put them in books and I, I just do everything constantly, constantly, constantly. And I'm hoping in a large way that like this is more along the lines of what I'm gonna work towards and how I'm gonna work harder and just lose myself in the creative process. I love when like those ideas hit you in the middle of your forehead and then it's just a highway going through your mind. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Like a whole universe living inside behind your eyes, just powerfully over indulging on all these things. Like I don't want to overdose on all the things going on, but like I want to feel I want to feel that drug that adrenaline, that focus. And sometimes like that's really scary. Like it's it's scary to hear that because I know what it's like to overly take in these deep, deep, deep kind of emotions and, and feelings towards these things because it's so easy to just get so lost in the romance of it that the actual like work that has to be put into it and the layering and the, everything else seems to kind of go and come about and do these things that it's it's so hard to be such a passionate person who makes art and not feel like you're overdoing it and that you know you're exhausting to other people <laughs> because you're so passionate about things and yeah i mean and then there's also the other aspect of like occasionally i get like spiteful about it like somebody will ask me for something while i'm working on something else and i get just aggravated and that's it's it's silly because like I know that the reason they're coming to me is they think that what I they think I have like good advice and choices and all that stuff I'll take my hair down my neck hurts um and so it's just so much easier to it's just so much easier to just become overly attentive about all these things all these tiny little details or tiny little pieces and parts and, and grabbing and pulling and doing and everything 
And so I don't know what to do next. I just don't. I'd love to say that I'm in some way focused better on what I'm working on. And I guess in a lot of ways I am, but there's also that other aspect that I am, I'm making it overly complicated. More water. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I have a color palette. I feel like I have like a mindset. I feel like I'm working towards a better me and a better artistic society. Like I'm trying to make all these things happen and be focused on them. But on the other aspect, I'm worried, like I said, that I'm just being obnoxious. <laughs> and I'm still that kid who's like so much, so much talk about all these things, but isn't actually doing all of them. And I realized like, you know, that may just be me trying to talk myself out of these things. So what do we do? Where do we go? What's next? How do these steps lead to the next step? How do these years flow into one another and become stronger and better and faster and, and tougher and lighter and eternal? I don't know. I do not know. I think this is why I have like things like a Nintendo Switch so that I can just like stop myself, <laughs> like grab myself and shake myself and stop myself from just being this like crazy person who can't focus on anything or focus on too many things at once, I think is probably more the issue. It's the ultimate fear of like, I wanna make lots of things, but that behind me is the last sheet of paper I have that is that size. And so I'm like, I need to buy more paper so that, because I'm going to run out of paper. So I can't use this piece because if I use this piece, then I have none of that size. But meanwhile, on this side of me, on my right side, I've got these huge sheets of paper that I could just cut. And then beside that are all these multiple sized sketch pads and ink blocks and watercolor blocks and all these other things to kind of get it going. Um, and so I am in no way, shape or form short on paper. But the fear of being short on paper is crippling. It's just madness. It's outright madness. And not in a good way, like the way I like. But I just want to make something beautiful and special and feel that way about it after I've made it. I think it's probably the big thing. I think a lot of times I've made artworks and they've been really great and I've loved them and I've loved making them and I've indulged in them and I've enjoyed them. And then a couple of weeks later, I'm, I'm done with them. And I, I need that, that feeling, that fix all over again. And that can be kind of difficult, honestly. You're not really guaranteed that you're gonna feel that way every single time. That all these things are going to be so drastically and strongly a part of one another. My